Here is what I call my little, they, she gave it to me in a bag, but, and it was easier to just take everything away. Some of my own crap is in here, so. Um, I'll just show you what I have. So this is my second apron. Now, with your aprons, your aprons, and this is supposed to be a company with your name tag, your aprons are supposed to be, make sure that they are at least decent looking and clean. You don't have to wash them every day or every second, but you just have to make sure, be conscientious that they look presentable. Um, and not gross looking you may get a few things on there stuff like me I didn't really do as much as much as much so even though it is messy and Starbucks is a messy job believe it or not it really is um you know milk might fly up and hit you uh, you know you're washing dishes things like that that's why we have these but make sure it's tied all that stuff and you wear it full never half you know in either way you just do what you need to do with that so right and dress code we'll talk more about dress code another time but i'm in violation of dress code somewhere on my body i'm just not gonna tell you where yet <laughs> well somewhere on my upper body and now being that with state of the world we also have to wear masks at all times so that's something you may um is, is, is encouraged um we have to but i know some places it might be a little different so just check in with that i should say even if you are, you've been uh, jabbed or not, you've been on point or not, you know, because we have to be careful how we say certain things, especially on YouTube, so, all right, and here's my sandwich I still didn't get to eat, but it's cool now, probably shouldn't have gotten one, and I have some of my banana bread from earlier. And we'll talk more about shifts and breaks too. But I just took a 10 minute because I was only training for four hours today. So pretty much what they gave me really was, it really just my apron. This is my marker. Like I said, I talked about my marker. They didn't give it to me, I just, I just kept it. <laughs> this is the Starbucks visor. This is your choice if you wanna wear this or not. Now typically, if you're wearing a beanie, you don't really have to wear this. I just decided to wear my beanie, whereas if any other day if I'm not wearing a beanie, I would wear this. And a lot of baristas, they decorate theirs with buttons and all kinds of cool things on them. But if I really was to put it on, I'll just show you. Um, I know it looks weird with the beanie on, but like if I was to just put it on, right, I probably, ooh, hit my lip a little bit. You know, I would wear it and just, um, you know, underneath my hair or something. And you're supposed to keep your hair, you know, backing out of your face. Like I said, I'll talk more about dress code another day. But they just gave me that and just the other apron. And I just have other gadgets in here, like just my snacks and stuff. But that's pretty much it. It's nothing really too crazy. But I just have like, you know, my 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 stuff in here and you know, I think I'll just probably maybe leave one of my, my apron car because I, I have to go in and study. I'm, I'm at school now, but, you know, I have to go to the library. But, yes, it's real once you get your apron. Like, now you really feel like you work there. So, and I just really enjoyed the rush of everything. I, I did everything during the rush period. Plus, I'm typically available in the mornings and early afternoons. So, they said it was great that I was able to work the rush because I really get to see everything hands-on and how intense it could be. And also, bef yeah, before I go and get out of here, um, what else I wanted to say? Yeah, but just pretty much that. But they say, like, for us, the, our rush is, like, typically 7 to 9. Monday, they said it, was, it actually wasn't that bad today. I was very surprised. But they said Tuesday is really going to be like, whoa, you know. But in our area, I don't know now your rush might be different if you're in midtown manhattan or if you're in the middle of iowa somewhere right everybody's rush is a little different and i know they get lit around lunchtime too and also in the evening 
sometimes I see around four or five o'clock like rush hour but and we're in a high traffic area for us but your area depending on if you're a standalone or a licensed store like let's say you're sitting in a, in a target or if you're on a college campus your crowd may look a little different uh, versus like if you're somewhere like like I said a standalone or we're high traffic maybe on a main road you may be on a, off on a side street or somewhere and it's not that bad or you're in a city where it's not that crazy but everybody or it might just be 10 it might be 10 times worse you know than what I'm describing but it all just depends on where you are and like I said the needs of the store at that time and I can't wait for the holiday season because we get the red aprons and like I said dress code we're definitely going to talk more about that but yeah my first day not too shabby not too bad and everybody was really just sweet and welcoming and even though it was fast paced and we were kind of short with each other but you could tell everybody really genuinely was kind and patient and willing to help and that's how it should be anywhere that you go especially when you're working and you know especially when you're new and I just hope that anybody out there who are becoming baristas or you're in the middle of your journey like you're right at the start of your journey you're middle I just hope you're just as fortunate as me you know to have such a supportive group and patient group and just you know and but so let me know down below what your experiences are or what's been like for you so far are you just starting is it your first day is it your third day is it you know any tasks that you find really easy difficult your favorite tasks your least favorite tasks um, I know for me, my least favorite would definitely be probably the dishwashing. Like, that, that's probably my least favorite. But I really enjoyed making the vanilla sweet cream for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's the cooking part <laughs> of me. But let me know, like, what you really, really enjoy about your training or your, your or even your time at Starbucks. Like, past and present people. Like, what, what tasks you enjoy the most, what positions you enjoy the most, like, doing certain things. Or when you trained, was it very easy for you? Was it very difficult for you? Were you overwhelmed? Were you re did you just like learn it so quick and you were like, cool. Whatever that may look like for you. But yeah, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, ring a ding ding so you don't miss a thing. Smash that notification bell. And it's me, the Fly Girl T. I'm out of here. Stay tuned, more, stay tuned for more videos behind the scenes of a barista. I love you. Take care. Bye.